Torah is very not specific about what the color of the people of Israel are. <coughs> the Torah is specific about a lot of things in the most minute detail, but they're not very specific what the color of Israel was. I, th I think it's on purpose that the Torah doesn't stress what color the people of Israel were. So when referring to chosen and not chosen or cursed, that's really up to us because being an Israelite or being part of the people of Israel is not an exclusive club. Um, it was open source for people back then were able to join into it. He said that the Torah is going to be non-specific about race. In 2016, with so many black people being murdered, with the Mike Browns and the Sean Bells, black people can ill afford to make any subscriptions to anything associated with spirituality if it doesn't have an affinity to your race. Because if you share a God with these pale white folks, and you share a God with them, you share religion with them, you share spirituality with them. And if spirituality has no specification for race, then they can kill you unconsciously and you can forgive them unconsciously. So we are now about to play that game. I may not subscribe to the Bible, but I know the authors of the Bible were black people teaching us about them, and I'm approving that. So we're going to go to the Exodus, and it says, Exodus 4, 6, And the Lord said, furthermore unto him, put now thy hand into thy bosom, and he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was left as the snow. So we know righteous, their prophet, the word of the God entrusted to present the law. For some reason, it was an imperative for God to tell Moses, And it went back into his flesh, his other flesh, according to Exodus 4 7. So, for some reason, the God of the Bible felt to specify yes. that his head, being leprous, didn't go from off white to white, <laughs> but from white as snow to something extremely opposite. Mm. So, he said the Torah doesn't make specifications about race.